All righty then. Hey, I'm Doc. And I suck at math and you don't. No, you're <laughs> Anna. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm Anna. Okay. And who sucks at math? You do. I, I suck know. at math and you don't. But we, but, but. No, no, no. We don't suck at math and they do. That's why they're on this website because they suck at math. No, you're on this web. No, anybody can be on this website. I'm good at math, but I suck at math. We all suck at math. Everybody says we suck we at math. We suck at math. We suck at math. I'm Doc. I'm Anna. And we, we suck, suck at, at math. math. We want to talk about fractions. We want to talk about adding fractions. Now, this is bullshit because you've been, if you're looking at this video in the first place here, let's make, let's make this big because we're going to preach a little bit. What do you think about this, Anna? Let's make us big. We'll, yeah. All right. If you're looking at this video right now and you're thinking, man, I dialed into this video because I suck at math, you came to the right place. You know why? Why? Because you found people who understand that you don't really suck at math, but you think you do. Use your noggin. We want to talk about adding fractions. And we want to talk about adding fractions. Not, not easy. We're not going to start with this greatest common multiple bullshit and stuff. We're going to go right for adding, adding variables. A variables. Variables. And so let's do this. We're going to talk about adding... Oh, i got to make this a pen. A over B plus C over D. Whoa, where's my C over? What happened to my over? Oh, oh there that, it is. Oh, it came up. C over D. How are we going to add those together, Anna? I have no clue because I suck at math. I suck at math, too. But here's an idea. I can add fractions. Let's, so let's go back to that. We're going to get back to that in a second. But I can add fractions. If I asked you to add two-thirds plus four-fifths, how would you do that? Well, I do know that we need to find the least common denominator. You'd have to find the least common denominator. What would be a good way to do that? Well, you could multiply three by five. That always works. I okay. can multiply, oh, so I, okay, so I can, any, any time I got a fraction, if I multiply the top and the bottom by the same number, I don't change the fraction, right? So if I multiply the top of that fraction by 5 and the bottom of, bottom of that fraction by 5, it's still going to be 2 thirds. Yes. When I multiply that out, it's going to be, what, 10 15 And I can multiply the top of this fraction by what? 3. No. Yes, 3. Oh, I suck at math. You suck at math. All right. Let's multiply this one by 3 over 3. Right? Now we've got 5 over 5 times 2 thirds. Well, let me put, let me, let's have that 5 over 5. See, changing colors. What is this thing that I just, that I just wrote equal to? What's 3 over 3 equal to? 1. 1. What's 5 over 5 equal to? 1. Oh, my God. What a coincidence. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. OMG. 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 Okay. So, 5 times 2 is what? 10? Oh, back to blue. Back the race. Erase. 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 Okay. Back to blue. I probably shouldn't cuss because my mom sees this. Yeah, that's, yeah. Okay. I, I, I'm cool. But you cuss. It's cool. All right. All right, screw this. There, I cussed. <laughs> I hate I hate fractions. They make me frustrated. They make me feel stupid because I suck at math. Yeah, but that's only in your head. So here's 10 fifteenths <laughs> plus 12 fifteenths. 4 times 3 is 12. And then 5 times 3 is 15. Is 15. And now I can add two fractions that have the same bottoms. Write LCD. I should write LCD? Okay, I'm going to do that in green. LCD. Least common denominator. You know, one of the reasons that we all suck at math is because people pull out these big words on us. De denominator. Denominator. I suck at writing, too. Yeah. Okay, so this is uh, 10 fifteenths plus 12 fifteenths is 22 fifteenths. No, it's 22 thirtieths, isn't it? Don't I add the top and the bottom like that? Mm-hmm. Really? No, you don't add the bottom. So it'd be it'd be 22 over 15. Well, why isn't it 22 over 30th? Because, um, I don't really know how to... When you don't know how to explain something, you know what you can try? Well, okay, because... Yeah. Hard, huh? Math is hard. Well, I don't know how to explain it. That's the... That's, okay. Thing. Here's an example. 
here's an example of why that why that wouldn't work. And a lot of times, if you can't explain it, you can come up with an example, and that's that's that'll make it work. Check this out. If that were true, if 10 fifteenths plus 12 fifteenths were 22 thirtieths, then I could then that would be the same as saying something like two thirds plus one third. Now, how much is two thirds plus one third? One. It's one. But, but that would be like saying that was three over six, yeah. which is not. That that'd be one half. So. Right. And two thirds plus one third is definitely not a half. No. Okay, so that's a mistake. I suck at math. It's not twenty-two thirtieths. It's twenty-two fifteenths. Once you have that number, you divide twenty-two by fifteen. Right. Because that's, and then you would get one and seven. If I want to write it in mixed form like that, I can write that as 1 and 7 fifteenths. Whoops. Oh, my God. What happened? What? Just click it. Click it? Just click it. Just click. How do I do that? Just click it. Yeah, like that. Fifteenths. All right. So let's go back to this and, and see if we can take and figure out how we use this numerical example to figure out how to go back up here to the A over B plus C over D problem that we started out with. What we did in this case was we multiplied both sides of the left-hand fraction with the denominator that was on the right-hand side. So we, we took this 5, and we, and we put that there, and we put the same 5 over here. That worked. Because right? what you do to one, you must do to the other. When you do it to the bottom, you've got to do it to the, the top. The golden rule. The golden rule of Math fractions. Or fractions. No, it's everything. Everything? Yeah. Okay. And now I've got the 3 over 3 there, and that all worked. So let's try the same thing here. Let's take that D. I'm going to do this in... What color do you want, Anna? Orange. Orange. Okay. So I'm going to take that D, and I'm going to put that over here. I'm going to put D over D here, over D. And we're going to take this B, and we're going to put that over here to B over B. This is a little bit sloppy. But what am I going to get? I'm going to get this is equal to... D-A. D-A. Let's write it A-D. A Keep it all in alphabetical D order. Over B-D. Over B-D. Plus... Plus... B-D. No, plus... Oh, C... C-B. C-B. B-C. No, no, no. Yeah, B-C over... Over... D-B. D-B or B-D. B Same thing again, right? Which one? Equal A D B C over B D. A D plus B C. Okay, let's do some erasing. Wait. Two, you want to start on another screen? Well, well, I think yeah. All right. Well, let's do this. Let's let's go ahead and circle this in a in a nice big green color. Whoa. Where's my green? Yay! So there is our there's a formula. Now, this is, here's a cool thing, so let's make a new note. Come on, note. Let's go, note. Let's try it again. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is it coming? It's blinking. Uh, oh. A note. New note. What's going on? No, this is, a, this is the real, this is the real deal. Oh. oh. Control N, let's try that. Shit! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Did I scare you? A little bit, yeah, it startled me. Okay. We've lost our, our cursor. Okay, so let's just do it like this. We have A over B plus C over D equals AD. A times D plus was a plus B times C over B times D. Let's fix this plus sign. It's not a regular looking plus sign. Put that back in. And there is a cool formula. Now we come back and we'll do another YouTube with some examples of this using yeah. X's and Y's like you're in an algebra class. Okay? Who sucks at math? We suck at math. We suck at math.